Hey, little moment, friends! Zandang here for another episode of Train Fever. When we last left off, we were getting ready to hopefully make everything work out, which it kinda has. If you notice, uh, we are now making 4 million on that line and 3 million on this line. And, well, it's varying a lot on both of them. But they're basically making the same amount and uh, doing well overall. And our oil's doing good. Everything's doing good for the most part. Um, we still do have some things that we need to upgrade and stuff like that. Like train number 9, which is on, what, line 16? So yeah, line 16 in general needs upgraded. After that will be road vehicles. Da, 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 da. Are there any... Well, so the next youngest train is there, so we should be good for a while, but notice how every single one of Line 16 trains are making money. And most of Line 2's trains, I mean, it's going to take a while for them to get spread out, but most of Line 2's trains are making money as well. So let's first of all count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, six. So, <sighs> okay. Let's repay our loan first. Definitely need to be repaying our loan. I wish you could do this quicker. They need to add million, borrow a million. Or either half a million or something. Alright, so now our loan is zero dollars. Which means we'll get an extra hundred thousand every year. I don't know how you can have ten million dollars and only pay a hundred thousand in interest every year, but I don't know, maybe that's a lot. That's only, yeah, that's only 1%, so that's pretty good interest rate, <laughs> all things considered. Okay. But yeah, one big appeal of this game is just watching the cities grow. And this is really starting to become a major hub. And if we had our <laughs> other line going, this would really starting st with this would really start to become a major hub. And you know what? Before we upgrade that, we should probably finally actually expand this line. So once we get money again which I guess we can speed up time to get to. But uh, you definitely want to make sure to upgrade. First of all, people don't like the slower trains. They don't hold as much because your towns are upgrading and you need to be able to carry more. And it's just, uh, you know, you have to pay more for maintenance. It's just not a good thing to have the older ones once they get over their lifespan, which is usually 30 to 40 years for trains and usually 15 to 30 years for vehicles. Which is not too bad at all. Alright, so first of all it would appear that we need to upgrade all the roads in this town. If we're going to want to successfully move in here. Okay. But yeah, this is definitely the time period where things start to get interesting because you have to upgrade all your old stuff and as you can tell I didn't do the best job with that. But you know, that's okay. It happens to me. 
Maybe not anybody else, but it happens to me. Alright. Got all that done. And... Make our way down. I think that that's everything. So now... I think we actually want to delete this little portion here. And then, ideally... Uh, we got to delete that house, which is probably pretty expensive. Yeah, half a million. Half a million dollars. Or whatever we're working with in Europe. In 1918, in the country that's not identified. Um, actually, we might be able to just place it normal. Yep. There we go. That works a lot better. Okay, let's see what we can get rid of here without losing everything. All right, so it's just that portion. Just that portion. Yeah, I think that's worth, worth redoing to get it to be perfect. Okay. Oh, well, actually, this is probably... It's in the line, at least for now. We'll see what happens. Oh, and we're going to have to redo that whole line. Oh, my. All right, this is the switch out of there. Hmm... Not very fast, but uh, I don't think the inside is either. There we go. So now let's do that and that. And one before the tunnel entrance. And after. That's a really long tunnel. I hope it's worth it. Well, I guess it's not in that much... Well... Yeah, well, it's not too much longer than that one. Right, let's pause time. And... Get rid of this. And put in the correct line. Look, it's so correct. I don't know why I said correct. All right. That should work. So now we get to redo the line path. So let's see, it's line 16, I believe. Yeah, line 16. Okay, and it's important to have it paused during this, otherwise you can mess up everything. So let's see, let's remove that one, that one. Um, so that just goes one, two, three, four, and now five, six, seven, eight, and I think that's the end, yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and back to 1. So there we go. So now we need to do that. Now, it's a ways up to that next town. Hmm. But all the industries on that side of the city, so it's kind of worthless being over there. You know what? It would actually be better for this station to be down here. Because that's closer to all the buildings and things. Okay. Oh, well. Forget it then, if we need a bypass. Forget it. Alright. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so this is kind of sort of working out. Oh yeah, that'll work. Hmm. <laughs> If you ever hear your mayor humming near your building, you might be wanting to delete it. Just keep that in mind. And there we go. So now we got our whole city all worked out. Alright, and our first train is making its way up there with 59 people. That's surprising. It must not have known exactly what was going on yet. He just got on the train assuming they were going to go back the other direction. Well, man, they got a surprise for them. They are not going back the other direction. Or maybe, you know, new town. Maybe they're wanting to go up here. <laughs> Such a small little car. Mm hmm? Hmm? I'm excited because the American pack is supposed to, that's what they call it, it's like the American DLC or whatever, is uh, supposed to come out that uh, gives in all the American vehicles. It's supposed to have over 50 new vehicle types and all new maps, map terrain types, and stuff like that. So, considering the fact that only four people, well, I think five now, people build this game, that is really impressive that they're able to do all this. Definitely one of the better indie games last year. Let's go check on that 
See, I really want this elaborate route that's around here somewhere to be making a, a comeback because it's a lot of fun. That's uh, one word for it anyway. I want at least the passenger line to be brought back. But first, we have to fix this line. Look at all that construction. That is glorious. How many people are waiting to go back the other way? Nine, actually. That's not too bad for a first round. <laughs> it just picked up people. That's awesome. They're like, this is not where you promised us to go. We're not getting off here, no sir. Alright, well. I suppose that that's warranted. 141 people waiting there. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade to the new, new train type, so... Let's actually go ahead and do just that. Let's see what our line 2 is making now. Seven million. That's telling because it's all... Well, I guess it is the end of the year. So, okay. Let's sell this line off. So there we go. Line 16 is sold off. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yes, I know I could have just done the auto-replace, but I want to make sure to get it done right. 16. Now let's go to the other end. Which is a long way away. Buy that with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Line 16. There you go, and let's head back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, sixteen. Such a long way up here. Alright. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, not enough money. So we got five. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Every five minutes, that's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. So let's actually go and see what's going on down with our trains down here. It's an old one. So yeah, the new one's waiting. It has 72 people on it. They're all waiting, actually.
Buy that one. No, we don't have enough money yet. Let's sell that back. All these old ones have to get off the line. <laughs> okay, that is some very careful maneuvering there. Oh my. Now we gotta buy it on the other end if we're gonna do it right. Alright, so now that one should be coming back in. Yep. We could put some. Oh, yeah, vehicles in the way now. Yeah, well, forget it. How many people are here anyway? 51. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, uh, stupid money. Okay, well, let's sell that all. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Train Fever. When we return, we will hopefully be able to buy another locomotive because we'll hopefully have enough money. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Train Fever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe. And you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon. And you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again real soon for another video.